Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gatsuga, and I'll be going over my ban list slash wish list again. Because, I don't know, I've made some changes since the last time, obviously. Anyways, to save some time, let's go right into the band cards. First, we got LP. Because Dragon Links have been around for way too long, and they are very powerful, and we don't really want to miss this deck and just create a whole bunch of really powerful decks floating around in the meta because this deck needs to be checked or at the very least we should actually get red med like red eyes darkness metal we should get his errata and then again even then lp is used in a lot of ftks especially ones revolving around cherubini which I'll talk about a little bit later or very soon. Cough, cough. And in Block Dragon, this one is self explanatory. Even before Ad Emancipators, I think like two years ago, I even mentioned that Block Dragon really isn't that great for the game. Block Dragon should just be banned. And people thought I was just hating on Block Dragon just to hate on Block Dragon. I actually really like Block Dragon. I used to play this in Trimids. Because I really like Block Dragon, I also like his design, and it has protagonist stats. Kinda, it has 3000 defense, not really a protagonist stat, but you know what I'm saying. I like Block Dragon, but it was honestly a very terribly designed card. Especially when in tandem with Link monsters. This card cannot exist in the game, and I don't see how it can avoid being banned. Next we have Moon and Glaciers because, let's be real, Mermails are going to summon it all the time, plus hand loop shenanigans. If I can place the entire Deep Sea archetype in the band section, or at least limit section, I would. But they're not as unfair as Moon and Glaciers. Am I pronouncing that right? Moon and Glacia. It's not as unfair as that card, because that card actually loops multiple cards out of your hand. And first turn, it's very freaking annoying. This card is just terribly designed in every way, shape, or form. Every way, shape, and form. Plus, it always gets abused by Mermails. I mean, granted, that's usually the only deck that plays this card. I would really like to see this card go away, or at the very least, like to see Konami stop giving Mermail stuff. Please, stop. Because of Fibrax, you can also just go into that Desert Locust and loop more cards out of your opponent's hand, because hand loops are fun. And speaking of hand loops, can we just ban Wind Up Hunter and just bring back Carrier? That would be cool. Next, we have Oviraptor. Ovi Raptor, like you could, it's kind of exchange interchangeable. Yeah, you can you can say miscellaneous miscellaneous. Oh my gosh, miscellaneous Saurus or Ovi Raptor. Personally, I'll be going for Ovi Raptor because not only is this a start, not only can this start FTKs, but granted, if we ban LP, we wouldn't have to worry about set FTK. But still. Not only does it start FEKs, but it's arguably the most powerful card in Dinos. It's a searcher. You can pop things, meaning that you could trigger your Dinos effects to special summon more Dinos. It's level 4, so you can go to Logia Dulka a lot easier, especially when you special summon off of its effect. Plus, it special summons. So that's really, really powerful has three powerful effects and simply limiting it like I originally did in my previous video wouldn't really work even if you limited fossil dig <sighs> next we have jet synchron wow and uh, jet synchron as a card isn't broken it's, it's Hulk of Fibrax that card is just terribly designed at least wish Konami would actually have the decency to just slap an errata on that card. You know, so that way we won't have to banish, 
not banish. At least that way we won't have to ban every tuner in the game until Fibrax gets banned. I'm not sure how it didn't get banned in the OCG yet. Then again, the OCG decided to limit Dragoon and Verte instead of just banning either one of them. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Fibrax is still a thing in the OCG, especially at 1. Anyways, I just wish Konami would just ban Fibrax instead, but since it's a new card, we probably have to wait like 2-3 to three more lists before we can actually ban Fibrax. Then again, Konami decided to keep Mystic Mind. Okay, no. Um, no, I should just try to contain my hatred for Mystic Mind for now. Anyways, yeah, Konami takes a long time to ban certain problem cards, especially things like Summit Sorcerers, which took, I think, I think it took like three or four lists before they actually decided to just demolish Summit Sorcerers. Don't quote me on that. Next, we have Secret Village. It's on every one of my ban lists, and it will continue to be on every one of my ban lists. This card is very terrible. It is, it's terrible, it's not healthy for the game. Plus, who really wants to, who, who really, who really wants to face this? Especially since spells are pretty much a lot more important than trap cards. And having your opponent just activate this is like, sh it's almost like Mystic Mind in a sense. It shuts off half of your deck. And speaking of Mystic Age, I mean Mystic Mind, we got Mystic Mind. There's not really much to say about that. It's pretty self explanatory, and I really don't want to go off on another rant about how much I despise this card with the Burning Passion. So I'm just going to move on to the limited cards. We have Solemn Judgment, because. It really should not have gone to three. It really shouldn't. Because now you just have Alter Guys throwing in three Solemn Judgment. Same with Guru. You also have Mystic Mine. Also, like I mentioned with Guard Dragons and how we should hit them now before we just before they just get left alone. Guru and Alter Guys are still very, very powerful competitive decks. It's just that we have so many powerful competitive decks that the ones that do need to get hit don't get hit. Alter Guys and Guru are still very powerful and they're still very competitive, but because they got overshadowed by a lot of other decks, Konami's probably not going to hit them. So at least the closest things to a hit we would have for those two decks would be these two cards and Banning of Secret Village. This card should not have gone to 3. Just like with Soul Charge, once you establish a board, light points do not matter. They do not matter for the most part. If your opponent sets up a bunch of back row and sets up a powerful board, they won't. They realistically won't care if they give up half their light points. Like, let's be real here. Next we have, I mean, yeah, it should just stay at 1. Next we have Super Poly. Super Poly, same, similar mentality. Super Poly is way too busted of a card. Plus this is an indirect shadow, Shadal hit. Again, Shadal, like Guru and, like Guru and Ultra guys, they're a powerful meta deck. Or at least they're competitive, but... They get overshadowed by other decks, so we probably won't see it get hit. Excuse me. Anyways, besides Super Poly, besides the things that most people already know about Super Poly, it should stay at 1 or be banned. But I'll just say it should stay at 1 for now. Scrap Recycler, it's... We, we know what Scrap Recycler does. Any monster with a foolish burial effect like this really shouldn't be in the game at 3. You scrap Recycler into O-Lion, you just combo, or you can just scrap Recycler into your Jet Synchron, and combo. Yeah, yeah, that's very annoying. Especially even without Jet Synchron, because, you know, you're banning it, at least until Fibrax gets banned. 
even without that card, you can go into O Lion and you could go into your Scrap Wyvern and then you can use your Scrap Wyvern and float and even extend even further. So, in a sense, this is kind of like Scrap Recycler is like his own Fibrax in a way, just not as broken, but still busted in a sense. Same with Mathematician, not sure why this card is at 3, while Armageddon Knight and Dark Refer are at 1. I'm not sure why they ever moved this card to 3. It's a Foolish Burial effect. It's just automatically going to be good. And, you know, Dax, I like to send monsters to the graveyard, plus this card is, I think it's like a 1 card Cherubini. So that's also not a good thing. And then we have Alistair the Invoker. There's not really much to say about this. Um, this I really do not like this card. And it's such an unhealthy card in a sense because it gives every deck their own Mechaba and that's not a good thing at all. I wanted to say 1 Alistair and 2 Meltdown, but... I think one Alistair is enough for now. At least that way the consistency of getting to it is incredibly low and your opponent would have to your opponent would have to play like three copies of Meltdown and one copy of Invocation, possibly even more, and hope that they don't just draw into a bunch of dead meltdowns. Or just invocations without Alistair. Anyways, next we have Salmon Gray Circle. Because, I mean, next for limited, we have Sunlight Wolf. I nearly forgot about it. Sunlight Wolf at one. Salmon Gray shouldn't be too much of a problem. At least that way you can't just fetch your free Inferny Barriers or your free Fire Lakes and just blow your opponent out the water. You'd have to hard draw them or just not run them, which is pretty fair, especially considering that Salomon Grace can actually do a lot of other things. They have a lot of other good cards that people just simply don't run because they aren't ridiculously powerful or broken. But as you can see in my Salomon Great duels, Salomon Greats aren't bad. They're pretty good. They're pretty good and they're pretty powerful. Anyways, we have um, Salomon Great Circle. I was... Ar you could argue that this should be put to 3, but I don't think we should put it to 3 just yet. Salmon Great Circle is a fine card. It's a fine and fair card, but, you know, because it was a searcher and Sunlight Wolf exists, and so does Gaz... I almost said Gajil. Gazelle, because Gazelle exists, this card was put to 1. At least, because, I mean, the whole reason why... I Gazelle was a bad card. Not bad card, but I mean like the reason why it's a problem card in this deck is because you could send any Salmon Great card to the graveyard and that was really powerful, especially when you could fetch it back with Wolf with ease. But as we now learn now as we now know, once you get Gazelle once, unless your opponent called by the graves or DD Crows it, you're just you're gonna be able to use Gazelle's effect multiple times a turn. Which is why the which is why we should just limit Sunlight Wolf and semi limit circle. And then lastly we have three resort. Not lastly, there's there's still more. We have three resort because Master Plan is the whole reason why resort went to one in the first place, plus spirals really need resort to go to three at least to be playable. And then we have three LT Conahog, because this card really should have come back. I think it's at three in the OCG. Yeah, it's at three in the OCG. It's at three in the OCG. And speaking of, when was the last time we got an OCG ban list? Actually, you know, it wasn't that long ago. Anyways, three dang long because. Actually, I put three dang long because at first I had Miscellaneous Saurus instead of Oviraptor. But who knows, maybe we can put dang long to three. Maybe. Possibly one. Let me know how you feel about that. And we have Rosh Dahlia to three. 
because like I mentioned there was no point in hitting circle or stalio stalio because you're gonna you're still gonna get to the gazelle a lot faster than normal especially considering in the same list they banned St stalio they brought lady debug back to three so unless you limit debug there's no point in actually you know hitting more Salmon Graves rather than rather than just limit Sunlight Wolf because that's the main issue with this deck. Rastalio, although it being a very powerful card, it actually limits some of the plays Sunlight Salmon Great players can actually do. Because you're locked into the effects of fire monsters, meaning that I mean by banning this card, Konami arguably made Salmon Greats even more powerful. Anyways, tell me what you think about my list, and tell me what you would want to put on this list instead of the stuff that I put. And this is me, your boy Blue Gatsuga, and I'm out.